Hey, how are you? This is the full A to Z course on how to start an insurance agency completely from scratch. So if you're watching this, you are probably in the process of starting an insurance agency or wanting to start an insurance agency and just don't know where to start because there's absolutely no information online that gives you real step-by-step -step processes and procedures that you need to have in place structurally for the business to get the agency off the ground and start operating so that you can sell insurance legally in your state anywhere in the United States. This is for United States. I don't have anything outside of the United States at the moment, but this is basically how it works across all 50 states. For the most part, every state's a little bit different. So I'm gonna give general concepts on what you need to do and, and it should apply to you and it will help you get your process started. I'm going to break it down all within the first five years and how to basically set up your agency to be at least over $3 million book of business within the first five years. That first million is very, very difficult to hit. That first year in itself is very, very difficult in itself. So I'm gonna break it down by year and what you can expect year over year, over year and actually also give you real numbers and revenue and what you can expect to make in those first early years and how you can forecast and play with the money so that you can grow the agency faster avoid the same mistakes that I've made and I'm giving away every single step of the process. So in this part of the video or the course, I'm gonna start with the first six months of how it looks when you're first starting up that agency in the first six months, which the first thing I will tell you that you need to have. So let's dive straight into it. First thing, most important thing that you need is experience in the insurance industry. The amount of people that reach out to me on a regular basis asking me how to start an insurance agency and I turn around and ask them, you know, how many years have you worked at your agency or, or where have you worked? And they'll say, none, I'm just coming from being a CPA or I'm a real estate agent, I wanna start an insurance agency. I almost cringe every time I hear that because you need to have experience. Do not set yourself up for failure. Have some experience. Work under an agent local to you. Reach out to me. We have some opportunities and programs for mentorship, for sales, mainly commission-based, but those are the places that you're gonna gain the real life, learn the ropes, billing, sales, service, all the different processes, and work for an agency that you would like to be like one day. Don't just work for some old guy in the neighborhood that's going to be retired in the next year. So first things first, have experience. Don't set yourself up for failure. I implore you to do that. There's a lot to learn and this is a very complex industry. Next thing you should know is like I said, those first six months are complete hell. You're gonna be, this whole first six months structure that I'm giving you now is all about just structural, how to put things together and you need to have full 100% attention on this because there's a lot of moving parts. So it's gonna be very, very difficult. You're gonna make very little money. You may have some real trouble with sales and building up the agency and, and networking and brand and all the different things. It's very difficult. The first six months suck. Be patient and push through it. That's my message to you on that one. The next thing, let's dive into some of the legal structure. You're going to have to have, first and foremost, a DBA. So what you can do is go to LegalZoom and buy a DBA. I believe it's like three to 400 bucks. I'm not sure what it is nowadays, but you can go there and get a DBA doing business as, so for example, me, I'm Chris Costantini doing business as Adelphia Insurance, that's my DBA. Um, the next thing you need is have your insurance license. If you don't have your insurance license, go get it and go work for an agency and, and do some sales first. You better have your insurance agent, you know, license first. Uh, before you start doing anything. Next thing you will need is get a business entity license. You can actually apply to the Department of Insurance in your state to get an, a license number for your agency. So it's a business entity license. It's not just your individual license. You get a business entity license number. You submit an application. I believe it's a couple hundred bucks and they will release that to you. You need to get approved with the name and whatnot. So that's that. 
The next thing you will need is a business, well, to get the business entity license, sorry, let me backtrack there, you need to have a business entity like an LLC or a corporation, that's a business entity. Um, you need to verify that that name is already eligible with the Department of Insurance before you go and buy the, and set up that LLC or corporation because that does take some time. LegalZoom can help you with those things too. When you get a DBA, you can also get a business entity. Um, a lot of times those cost like 800 bucks, at least in California, it's $800 a year for an LLC, which is mine. I have an LLC set up. Check with an accountant or CPA um, or a, a, a attorney who can help you set those things up. They're the best ones to advise you on legal structures of businesses and what's best for you tax wise and whatnot. Um, but you need to have a business entity in order to get that uh, business entity license number for your brokerage or agency. Um, so definitely check that the name is eligible with the Department of Insurance before you go and get that business entity because that is a lot of paperwork, a lot of structure, and very, very important. Next thing you'll need is um, errors and omissions insurance. Pretty straightforward. It basically covers you in the event that you make mistakes and have errors. So have errors and omissions insurance. Very easy to get. You can reach out to me or other agents in your local area. You may need a bond, so you need to get yourself a bond. Certain carriers or certain companies and, and states require you to have a bond. Not all, but some do require you to have a bond for your license. Look it up on the Department of Insurance for yourself. You need to set up business bank accounts. There's a trust and an operating account. The trust is meant to hold funds and the operating is meant to spend um, actual earned commission. So holding actual premium from customers in the, in the trust account and then the operating is earned premium or earned commissions that you can actually start to play with. The trust is a holding account. It's almost called a slush fund. Some people call it that. So make sure you have that. In place, you can just go to the local Wells Fargo and set up two business bank accounts, checking accounts, and make sure that they understand what's what. Um, those are the main things for the structure of like an actual entity to get the agency in place. Uh, there's a few other things that go with that, but the other things are in the more kind of deeper levels of structure to actually operate efficiently and well. You're gonna need a management system for your agency to, to manage all customers' policies. There's easy links, this is what we use. Um, you're gonna need a payment portal, which is ePay policy, which is what we use. Um, you're gonna need a, a internal site, for like a Google Home site, type in Google site website, and you can create a little Google website so that you have an internal site where you can put all your carriers in and not have to be bookmarking stuff. Um, it's just an efficiency thing. Um, you need a phone system, so look up different phone systems. We use Cotter Bridge, which has worked well for us. Um, get a website, these are all like other little extra things. Get yourself an email, professional domain, an email. Those are also very important. Um, next thing you're gonna need is an appointment, which is now all, let's just say all those things went perfectly, you got everything in place, you got the structure, the entity license, boom, 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 website, all that stuff. Now you need to get an appointment with a carrier. So now you need to start reaching out to companies and saying, hey, will you give me a contract? That's really hard to do, especially if you're just starting from scratch, you have no track record, you're not coming from another book of business. They're gonna say, well, why should we work with you? We need to see some proof that you're gonna produce and bring good business to us. So uh, a good solution for this is joining an alliance. There's a bunch of different alliances out there. I'm part of SIAA, you can look that up. Um, they're great and reach out to me. I'm happy to put you in touch with somebody as well with SIA. There's a bunch of them out there. Type in insurance alliances. They're also called clusters, which those are basically middlemen to help you get carrier appointments and contracts. Definitely recommend. That's a great solution, especially for starting up from scratch. You're going to need also, you're going to need a brand and a logo. So go get yourself a professional, good brand. Talk to somebody who's a graphic designer, who knows what you're looking for and can design it for you. Um, very important to look, you know, sharp and uh, appealing to whatever market you're going after. You're going to need to start posting and on social media, get exposed like, okay, we are live. Now we're an agency, guys, check us out. This is the logo. Um, announce that you are in business. People need to know who you are and what you're doing. It's essential to do that early on and don't wait three or four or five months to announce that you started an insurance agency. Let people know like, this is what's coming. This is what I'm doing. And that way people start to trust that the sooner you do that, the better. So definitely highly recommend that. Um, you're going to need to start contacting your warm market. Once everything's in place, definitely start hitting people up. 
Start texting everybody in your contact list saying, hey, I wanted to let you know I started my agency, uh, would really appreciate the support. Can I possibly run you a quote and see if we could save you some money? Do this, just simply ask. I think this is the most overlooked thing in the whole process of starting an insurance agency. Everyone's like, I don't know how to get sales. I don't know how to get leads. The easiest thing you can do is just simply ask everybody you know to run them a quote. Your, your pipeline will just start to fill up. They'll tell their friends, they'll be like, maybe not, maybe, maybe in three months, boom, it'll start to fill up later. But you need to start asking right away, out the chute, immediately. Do that, please, I'm begging you. The next thing you need to do is start networking, get your name known in the local community and area, get into networking groups, start shaking hands with real estate agents, loan officers, CPAs, financial advisors, those types of people that are centers of influence and start infiltrating the community. Establish yourself as a person of, of power and, and establish your presence. Very, very important to do this early on. You're going to also want to start investing in some leads, maybe start looking at lead generation companies. Tudo is the system that we use to actually generate leads on our own. It's a text, email, voicemail, um, uh, funnel and lead generation CRM. It's super, super powerful. You can use it to your advantage. Tudo, shout, check them out. It's really, really good. Um, and also you can buy leads from we personally don't like to do this, but go to Quote Wizard or ZipQuote or these different home and auto lead companies that you can buy lists or live transfers to start filling up the pipeline, shooting shots, getting opportunities in the door. Lastly, for the first six months, you're going to need to have processes in place. And what that means, I always was so confused when people would tell me, have processes and procedures in place. You need to have cancellation processes. What does it look like when you cancel? What is a claims process when somebody calls in and says, oh, I had a claim. Um, what is a billing process when somebody calls in to ch ch you know, check on their bill? What about a renewal? Now that you're in the six month range, you probably have a couple policies coming up for renewal pretty soon. How do you handle those? Having it listed out, you know, A through Z, like even if it's a short five step checklist on what to do for renewals or what to do with billing, what to do with this, start getting them, just put them in a Google sheet maybe and start naming them. Maybe make a separate Google account for your drive so that you can really keep things organized. As you start to build team members, it's really important that they see the way things can, you know, should be going. Um, and, you know, also for sales, um, have a little process in place. Those first six months, like I said, they suck. It's really, really difficult. I know a lot of people start to give up because they're, they're starting to feel really anxious and nervous and afraid because they're not making any sales. And the business, it's all working on foundational stuff for the business. Um, so it, it is a little nerve wracking early on, putting yourself out there, really making a lot of mistakes. My stomach, I used to feel like I was gonna throw up like three to four times a week because I would make mistakes on customers' policies and, and um, big started working on bigger accounts. And, I, and, and it's a big shift going from working in an agency as a producer to now these are your clients and your name is on the line, on the door there, and, and, and your brand and everything about it is yours. That's also the beauty of it too, that you get to do every day that you put in this work and you continue to show up and work those extra hours and, and come in early. Those, that's all, you're gonna reap the benefits of it one day and you keep it in house. It's not working for someone or, or, or so it, it really does feel fulfilling knowing that you're in that business for yourself, um, but it also carries that responsibility and weight. It's a different style. So if you're just starting up in those first six months, stay patient. Stay confident, keep believing that there's light at the end of the tunnel. Once those policies start to renew and really start to stack up in the book of business, you will start to see the benefits. This business is all about time. This business needs time. It even frustrates me because my mind likes to work fast. I'm like, let's move, let's get stuff done. And it's a slow business. This business does not make you a millionaire overnight. It's gonna take a couple years minimum. So those first six months, it's, it's complete hell. Just be ready for it and stay patient. And I can assure you by watching this introduction course on how to start your own agency and, and grow your own agency in over $3 million book of business in five years, um, I'm confident that these will help expedite your process and get you set up to make you a very successful insurance agent in the very near future but you need to be patient and you need to take the time 
to do things right. And especially these foundational things, they are key to setting yourself up for success. Don't leave loose ends. It could really screw you over later. Last little tip here, everybody you talk to, keep a running list of data of their names, phone numbers, and emails. I made that mistake, didn't keep track of all these people. I wish I did because the data is so important, especially if you're using systems like Tudo. Tudo you can use to your advantage to really keep in touch through automation and communication with people. So highly, highly recommend you keep that information handy and save it. That is the introduction here of the first six months of complete insurance hell. I really hope that this doesn't discourage you too much, um, but it does really help you set things up. So rewatch this as many times as you need to, take notes and make sure your structure of your agency is set up properly. Um, and always check with your department of insurance of what else is necessary and needed. Hopefully that does help you. And that is it for now. We're gonna move on to the second part of this course, which is the six to 12 months um, and what to expect then. So that's all I got for now. See you guys at the next one. Peace.